Okay, so this is one of my favorite snacks to have around in the fridge. Just because it's not too sweet and I don't get sweet fatigue. And it has a nice nutty flavor. To get started, add some water to a pot. Doesn't have to be exact. And get it to a boil. Add about 130 to 150 grams of walnuts. I'm using American walnut, so my average viewer should be able to get some. Not that you have to get the same ones. After roughly 2 minutes of boiling, take the walnuts out and dry them. Now while all the moisture is leaving the walnuts, get another pot and add 100 grams of rock sugar along with 50 grams of water and melt it on a very very low heat. And when most of the sugar has been melted, you can now add about a tablespoon or 15 to 20 grams of maltose syrup into the pot. Turn the heat up to a medium low and let it go for 15-20 minutes probably until it reaches a temperature of 110 degrees celsius which now you can then add the walnuts back into the pot and mix thoroughly with the syrup then lay them out to rest on a rack okay so welcome to an episode of washing with charles if you want to get rid of the sticky mess in your pot, you can add water to it and heat it up on the stove to get the sugar crumbs to dissolve. Or, or you can just put boiling hot water onto it. It does the same thing. Now add like an inch and a half of neutral oil and get it to a steady temperature of 120 to 130 degrees to which then you can add the walnuts in to fry. It's frying in such a low temperature because the walnut need to be cooked through before the sugar fully caramelizes. Usually caramelized sugars are great but here it tastes a bit weird in combination of the toasted slash fried walnut. And generally, I just don't fuck with it. After about 15 minutes, the walnut would have gotten a little bit darker and there should be a nice nutty aroma which signifies that the candied walnut is done. Then you can just lay them out to rest on a rack. Yes, again, on a rack. And while it's cooling down, you can either toss and mix in some sesame seeds. That's the traditional topping, I guess you could say it's topping. But you can also sprinkle in some flaky salt, that's an option too. Actually, that's my preferred method of eating this. It's uh, very nice, a little bit savory, but also sweet. 